Hey guys, Paul with you here today. Um, wanted to share my experience of buying a car trailer. This is an oddballer for me because I always wanted it, never bought it because I could get away with my goosenecks that I own, right? Well, I wanted to share firsthand, so I literally just bought this thing today. Wanted to share why I bought this trailer versus the other ones and what's the key factor here for me and what I was looking for. Okay, first thing I wanted a car trailer. I wanted options so I don't have to haul these big trailers. So if I want to hook up something to a smaller trailer, something with a smaller trailer, you know, haul a car. Some of you guys know I own that thing. I want to go out to my buddies out in Seattle and Boise and just hang out, you know. Just want to take the car out there and hang out. Just, just some wild ideas. I don't want to drive the car out there, you know, 300, 400 miles. But I want to take my family out there so they can hang, hang out with family and friends. And I can enjoy my car. So I got this idea of a car trailer. Justifying it. That's the only way I was. So I went and checked one out. I was a little disappointed with it. I'm like, well, why don't I buy the trailer that I always wanted? Oh, the trailer that I always wanted has these crazy ramps and these, what would you call these, shields or whatever, these splash guards, fenders. I guess you call them fenders. They're pretty stout fenders on these ones. But anyways, these fenders become these ramps. I'm like, well, that's just too much. That's monster truck kind of thing. That's just way too much. I don't think I need that. What I need is a full tilt. So I look into a full tilt. First thing appealed to me, there's 83 inches between the fenders sweet another thing appealed to me is the quality build well i say that's the first thing that appealed to me this is a small little dealership i pass by fairly often i just small dealership i i attempted to do business with them once it wasn't too impressed so i just stayed away and this time I'm like huh they call i got a cool trailer so i stopped by real quick i was impressed how well this thing's caked has a very good paint has a very good paint job which is hard to find you know, big Texas, man, those things are peeling from new. This thing, the, 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 the paint's caked on very well. You know, everything's done neat. is isn't like some million dollar trailer, but look, everything's wrapped. Everything's nicely done. You got these grommets. I was really impressed. Like, I honestly was. Like, why didn't they put four screws? Because it doesn't need four screws. Could it use four screws? Yeah, but it doesn't need four screws. But, like, it, it's just a stout, nice trailer. You know, from the lights to the paint, to the wood, to the fenders being bigger. Um, it's just done right. You know, all the welds are complete. They're not just, I mean, yeah, they don't weld inside, but some of these guys don't even give you a full run a weld there. You know, the, the ramp or whatever you want to call this tail, you know, it's, it's very well done. I mean, look how well. It's hard to tell on video how, how well these things are painted. But, I mean, it's sticking on there. It's not flaking from you. Looks like it, it rubbed up against something. But, I mean, that's that's a trailer thing. What I'm trying to say, it ain't flaking. That paint's gone because it rubbed up against something. So, very impressed. I don't know who you guys are, Summit. I know you guys are from Oregon. Um, Not very popular around here. You guys might be popular somewhere else. But props to you guys for your quality and uh, craftsmanship. And you guys being fair with the user and the end user the the customer i mean this calls for something you know what i mean if i ever ding one of these up it's an automatic another inch out kind of scenario i will weld uh, i will weld new ones in just an inch outer because it's asking for it you know what i mean it's calling for it. all you got to do is change up the if i needed to you know if whatever uh situation i got tight in and i needed that i would you know uh uh a ram's width is about 79 inches so let's say 80 inches i still got an inch and a half for all you guys that are concerned will it fit a ram yeah it'll fit a ram fits my shelby and yeah that's pretty cool hopefully my boys get a weld in like a little triangle here i guess run another two inch or three inch uh, i-beam across here not for support but just to create this basket effect here and yeah it does not have a spare holder i do not know if all i will install one i probably should but all the spare holders i've seen so far are, are janky uh that were that you could purchase so i don't know i just fab fab one on my own or something of that nature if i were to put one out it'd probably be somewhere right about here or something anyways that's my experience i wanted to show with you guys you know all those big name brands i've most of them checked them out and this one really stood out to me how well it is fabricated welded painted everything it's just you know and the price wasn't astronomical as compared to the big guys i mean we're talking you know a significant difference in, in price so i hate saying it this way but with my experience and what i explored for the last two days checking them out 
is this trailer outperformed them all in paint structural rigidity the way it's welded and uh supplies used and it's not as expensive as the other ones so i don't know i, I feel like i'm repeating myself but there you go guys um for you guys curious how does it look what does it do so the way you release this thing is you literally pull this thing and, and turn it i guess i could only do so much with one hand so there well it's gonna do it very slowly so let me speed up the process step on it and yeah a lot of you guys are curious the mechanical side of it, it has a legitimate shock a hydraulic shock and there you go dexter axles 7k axles stout little boogers um if i were to work on any of this trailer i'd probably put the greasable bolts here yeah just for whatever kicks and for whatever reason i think it's necessary i mean but i'm just amazed how well these guys paint their trailers let me know in the comment section what should i use for the wood i don't want anything greasy but i'm gonna have to treat the wood with something it's very good wood very stout wood so once again thank you summit i'm very impressed i guess the cascade oh that's how i know it's in oregon uh cascade series oh yeah and they're honest they don't sell you like a 20 footer like a lot of these guys do i'm not gonna point any fingers at any brands here they give you 20 feet of space deck space and then they'll add the ramp a lot of these big guys they measure from here to the end of your trailer and the end doesn't end here the end ends here so you know you get 20 feet of deck space and then the ramp this is according to some of these guys out there this is a 22 footer but realistically it's a 20 footer so thank you for being fair with this summit as i said i'm very impressed and nothing but best luck and blessings to you guys in business with this kind of uh, craftsmanship and honesty to the consumer you guys have a bright future in my opinion like a solid future so anyways god bless you bye